So I was called to a, a horse uh, in a village and I, on my first arrival when I went to see this horse I could notice that he was quite severely obese and he was having quite a lot of difficulty walking around and you could see he was in quite a lot of pain really. The, uh, the obesity of the horse, we, we think it's down to the fact that the owner disappeared a, a couple of years ago. He was left in, in one paddock. Unfortunately over the, the years the fencing came down and that one paddock became a really large paddock so he had lots and lots of grazing which uh, unfortunately he was gorging himself on and uh, became severely obese. When a horse becomes obese basically you put in real lots of extra pressure on all the joints which is not good for the, the, the horse at all. Also it runs the risk of uh, opening up the doors to sort of things like laminitis. Laminitis is a condition that horses suffer from. It affects the whole body and particularly the hooves. It makes them extremely painful to be able to stand on the hooves. That's why Quite often when you see a laminitic horse when it's really bad, you'll see that it quite often likes to rock backwards because it's trying to take the weight off of its hoofs. It's a condition that you should manage. When I uh, found the horse and could see that he was in quite a lot of pain, we uh, instantly called a vet. I got a vet on scene and who, who basically gave him some pain relief to make him more comfortable. The vet then made the decision whether he was uh, fit to travel or not. They said he was able to travel, so we then had to organise a transporter to come and pick him up. When I arranged the transporter, we made sure that it was very clear to them that this horse uh, would need some extra help with the transport. So they made sure that they bedded it up really deep with straw so that if he did want to lay down and, and get more comfortable on the journey than he could. So when, when the pony arrived at Glenderspooner, he was met by a vet and the team who were waiting for his arrival. As he came down the ramp on his arrival, uh, because of his obesity, he made such a loud noise, it actually sounded like thunder. So there, at that point forward, they decided to affectionately call the, the pony Thunder. So this is Thunder. He arrived here two months ago, weighing 452 kilograms, despite his short stature. Um, he was also quite foot sore, unsurprisingly, and had markedly overgrown feet. Um, he was an entire stallion, hence the very large neck. Um, and so we've had to go quite gently with him because one of the ways of losing weight, of course, would be to increase his exercise, but he was quite lame at the time, so we haven't been able to do that. Um, what we have done, he has now lost quite a few kilos. He's now down to 429 albeit not nearly as much as I would like. Um, we've trimmed his feet back, we've kept him on very soft bedding, we've got him down eating soaked hay at 1.5% of his body weight over a 24 hour period and we are gently and slowly increasing his exercise. This crest of his should be this much less than it is. Um, unfortunately for him it's probably never going to be quite normal. I suspect it will always be a bit big. Um, he has got these huge fat pads over his shoulders um, which are still outstandingly large but uh, slightly better than they were. Um, there are some ribs under here which I can just about feel if I push really quite hard um, and he has the biggest apple bottom um, over here that I'd rather he lost um, and will do at some point. Actually these fat pads are less than they were and I think these shoulder fat pads are less than they were. Unfortunately, the crest to me doesn't look like it's changed at all since he arrived here. And I suspect that may well be the last thing to go. I hope that in time we manage to get um, in total at least 100 kilos off him from his arrival weight, um, possibly more. But it will take um, a significant period of time. One of the big problems we have in this country is um, the two extremes. So a lot of what, we come, what comes into us is emaciated horses but we also see these ones who are equally difficult in some ways to deal with um, because they have quite a lot of foot issues, they have quite a lot of problems with um, excess weights through their joints um, and some of them are uh, you know, a massive challenge and it takes about a year quite often to get these horses back to normal. So this is Dave, affectionately known as Thunder on the farm. He came into us um, less than a year ago, being the fattest pony I've ever had the misfortune to clap eyes on. Um, he's been with us now for less than a year on a fairly strict diet um, and is a shadow of his former self. He's now 357 kilos, um, which is a fairly dramatic weight loss of around about 80 kilos. And as you can see, he looks so much better for it. We're delighted with the progress he's made. 
when all that fat came off, unfortunately what was left was a very weak pony. So um, we've spent quite a bit of work now trying to get some muscle strength into him um, with various exercises and he has a physio programme which he's following to the letter. Um, and any minute now we'll be happy to send him off to a hopefully good home. Um, but he looks a million dollars, his temperament hasn't changed, he's remained a lovely, lovely calm pony um, and I think will make an excellent drive riding horse for someday and it's a shame that it took a year's worth of effort to get him to this stage. However, we're doing well now. As you can see, his mus what he's got now here, I can feel his muscle instead of the big rippling balls of fat that we had over his back. Um, I had massive fat pads here and here and they've completely gone and now I've got not much but what's there is actually muscle um, and down there was these massive big pads here and here in front of his girth which were just um, like big rolls of cellulite essentially which um, have also gone um, and this crest that he had was the most impressive crest I've seen um, because he was an entire um, male when he came and this was a huge big fat crest Unfortunately, because he's um, been castrated here and was an aged stallion when he got to us, this crest will never completely go, but it's now very soft um, and fairly floppy um, and is also very small compared to how it was. Traditionally, we weren't able to put a head collar on him because um, the fat that came up in this crest came down to his ears so that when we put a head collar on it just slipped over his ears because there was a big fat pad between his ears which I'd also never seen before. But that's gone now and we can now get tack that fits him. Um, and just to aid in the whole weight loss thing, we've uh, trimmed some fur to make him shiver off the last few kilos. Um, his laminitis is under control, he's castrated um, and his physio program's going really well so we're very happy with him sad part about this story is really you know for, for a horse to get to that sort of severity of obesity it just shouldn't happen really there's there's plenty of help out there we offer assistance if you feel that your horse is becoming a little overweight and you want some help you know we have helplines that you can call us you can get the help there's vets out there that can help you with it the good thing about this story though is you know we were we as a charity were able to help that horse and for me that's, that's why we do this, you know, it's the, it's the best part of the job to be able to get a horse from a situation where it is suffering, get it into our care, you know, we've managed to, to, to help that pony so much and, you know, that's, that's what it's all about, it's, it's, it's the best part of the job.